just the man of my dreams but you are the man who has made all of my little girl's dreams come true he didn't bat an eye all those years ago when I said if you want to marry me you have to have it Noyan <laughs> and over time he's come to love this town and truly gave me the most wonderful gift today of having it in my hometown and being surrounded by our family and friends Well, cutie, it's official. We have finally made it here. I know we took the long road, but I wouldn't change a thing. We know I'm not mushy enough, but I do want you to know that I'm realizing more and more how lucky I am to have found someone like you. I mean, who else is going to know or sing every word to Tracy Lawrence with me? Babe, I knew the night we met that you were someone special. I just didn't know at that time how important you would be to me. You came into my life in a moment that I needed you most. It hasn't been all sunshine and roses, but it's only made our relationship stronger. I'm glad to be finally moving past this phase and chapter in our life. I'm very excited to start the next one with you. I hope to become the husband and father that you've always wanted me to be. The last few months have been a roller coaster, yet all it has done is confirm that we can get through anything together. So about eight years ago, Brent and Kim, as you've heard before, have met at a mutual wedding. Fast forward mm, six long years. <coughs> Here we are today having this amazing wedding. Kimberly Yvonne was born June 2nd, 1988. She was the third child of Shane and Connie. She realized early on, being the middle child of four kids, that she wasn't going to get a lot of attention. And she definitely was a very independent girl right from the start. She was so good, we even forgot her twice in New Brigden after ball games. Holy moly. Lovely. Brent has the courageous heart of a lion. Um, simple as that. The guy has had my back every day for as long as I can remember. I can't be more humbled, more honored um, to say a couple words, and, and I just love you so much, buddy. Thank you so much for being my best friend. Well, my beautiful bride, not much else to say other than I can't wait to see you and say I do. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you at the end of the aisle. I'll be the pretty girl in a white dress. Love, your cutie. Oh God, in creating the human race, will that man and wife should be one. Join, we pray, in the bond of inseparable love, this your servants, Kim and Brent, who are to be united in the covenant of marriage. I, Brent, take you, Kim, for my lawful wife. I, Kim, take you, Brent, to be my lawful husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. To love and to cherish until death do us part. Until death do us part. Creator of the universe, maker of man and woman in your likeness, source of blessings for the married life, we humbly pray to you for this bride who today is united with her husband in the bond of marriage. May they be noted for their good life and be parents filled with virtue. And I'm privileged to announce to you... Oh, I forgot what to say. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
I want to announce them as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Curry. Oh, baby, would you look right there? The way the sun is hitting your head. The way the world just stopped right here in midair. I don't ever want to move. You put the cool in the breeze. You put the weak here in my knees. You put me right where I'm supposed to be. In your blue eyed sea. And I want to sail away. Cause when I wake up in the middle of the night. Biggest, strongest, and most honorable teammate I've ever had the privilege of playing with. He's also the only teammate I've ever had who needed to squeeze his patented Fromo Afro into his helmet. I wasn't surprised she went into nursing. From a young girl, she had visions of being a nurse from all her experiences with the healthcare system. Even though nursing is her job, it is much more a passion for her. I know she thinks of her patients as somebody's mother, sister, or grandfather. was not our best year. Brent and I tackled multiple obstacles. And we are so excited to share our news with you all today. And we ask moving forward for prayers for a healthy and safe arrival of baby Curry. When I wake up in the middle of the night